The key concept in section 2.2 is the concept of multiples. And multiple means in common language count by. So if I'm doing the first five multiples of the number 5, I'm simply counting by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Just simply counting by 5. These are multiples. Okay, so if we're doing the first five multiples of the number 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and so on. Okay. We're doing, again, problem number 11 in the homework problems. We have 53. We're just counting by 53s. 53, 106, 159, 212, 265, and so on. You can keep going past that for all of these numbers, but generally they ask you to do five multiples in a group. Okay. Again, multiple is pretty straightforward. They're not trying to do any tricks, anything weird here. They're just asking you to do the first five multiples of a number or to count by. The second objective is that they're going to combine what we did in section one with the concept of a multiple. So we're going to do, they're going to ask us then, is 84 a multiple of six? Well, we go back to our rules then. What are the rules to see if six goes into a number? Well, first off, it has to be even. Okay, it's two has to go in, so it's even, so that's good. And then the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So eight and four is 12, three goes into 12, so yes, 6 goes into 84. So again, we use our same two rules to see if 6 is a multiple of 95, or of multiple, if 95 is a multiple of 6. So, and again, it's saying it's a factor. So we're, they're trying to get us to get to factors here. So does 6 go into 95? Well, is it even? No. So we're all done. As soon as we just, one of the parts was ruled out, we're all done, we don't have to keep checking. So six is not a multiple of 95. In other words, if we count by sixes, 95 is not gonna be on our list of sixes. We're gonna have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on, but 95 is not going to be there because it didn't meet our rules for six. Okay, and then they're gonna ask you, is that these are multiples of nine? So again, we gotta go back to our rules. Sum of the digits divisible by 9. Again, we told you to put those in your notes, so you had them. 5 and 8 is 13. 9 doesn't go into 13. Therefore, 9 does not go into 58. Problem number 30. 1, 1, and 7 are our digits for 117. Totals up to 9. 9 goes into 9. Therefore, 9 is a multiple of course, 117 is a multiple of 9, so it will be yes. It's a factor. Remember we said we really didn't have a good rule for 7, so basically we have to do these longhand or on a calculator. So we're going to take 84, we're going to divide by 7. So does 7 go into 8 one time? Bring down the next number, 7 goes into 14 twice, so yes, 7 went into this number evenly. So it is a multiple of 7. So if we count it by 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, and so on. 84 would be on our list down here. 111, same deal. Then I have to either go on a calculator or go longhand. 1 times 7 is 7. 4, bring down the next number. 7 doesn't go into 41. It'll go into 42. So we're going to have a remainder or a decimal. So this would therefore be no. Then they're going to start throwing some curves at you a little bit. With problem number 39, they're going to use bigger numbers. But the rules don't change here. They're going to ask you, is 432 a multiple of 6, then 9, and then 15? So let's go take them one at a time. So in order to be a multiple of 6, it had to meet the rules, divisibility rules, for 2 and 3. Is it even? Yes. Sum of the digits, 9. 3 goes into 9, therefore 6 goes in. Okay, so sum of the digits was 9, 9 will go into 9, therefore 9 goes in. But we didn't have a rule for 15, so what do you think it might be? Well, what goes into both 
what goes into 15? What numbers go into 15? Well, 3 goes in and 5 goes in. So I wonder if we have to have a rule then, or can make up a rule for what 15 might be. Might be that it meets the rules for 3 and meets the rules for 5. Well, meets the rules for 3 because some of the digits, but it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. So there's no way any number with a 5 on the end is going to go into 432. So we will not meet the rules for 15. Then they're going to get some really fun stuff, such as problem number 45. There's not a rule for 17 and not a rule for 31. So basically you're going to be doing it longhand or on a calculator. Just doing the math and checking. You'll find that it does not go in leading to 17, but it will go in for 31. Good luck. Have fun.